Evening folks, Youper here. Today we are going to go over the Command Modern Operations event system. This is going to be the first of four parts that is going to cover the event system as a whole, the triggers, conditions, and finally the actions. Uh, right now we're just going to look at the event itself. Now, you pull open CMO, put it in editor mode, and go up and you can see the events. And we're going to kind of walk through this step by step. So the first thing you'll see is event is repeatable. This is not checked. The event will only occur a single time. What does that mean? Say you want it to fire multiple times. For whatever reason, you want some action to occur. Don't uh, then leave that checked. By default, it is not checked. Next, the event is active. If this is checked, this event will function just as you want it to. If it's not checked, it won't function at all. Next, event is shown in log. So anytime this event kicks off, you're going to see it in the message log. And this can be useful for troubleshooting because it won't display, or because if it doesn't trigger, you'll see it down in the message log. And it'll say condition not met, or it'll give you a, if there was something that happened, it'll let you know. Next is event is shown in log. If the event has been activated or if a condition was not met, you will see it in the message log. Next, the probability. By default, this is 100%. Every single time that the event triggers, if it meets the condition, it will, act, it will perform the action. However, say you don't want it to happen 100% of the time. You want it to be random. Say the event is repeatable and it triggers every 15 minutes, there's a 25% chance that some mission activates. That's how you can set it up. Now, every event requires a trigger and it requires an action. The condition is optional. You need at least one trigger. You can have multiple triggers and any one of the multiple triggers will kick off the next part of the event. If it goes to the condition, it'll check and see if it meets the condition. Now there's a few different conditions. We'll get into that in the other videos. Lastly is the action, what you're going to do. You need at least one action. Multiple actions can be there and all of the multiple actions will fire at once. So now let's jump into CMO itself and we'll browse through it a bit and then we'll move on to the next topic. All right, here we are looking at Iceland. We are in uh, scenario editor mode. So if you go, you'll see editor up top here. We can slide down to event editor and select events. At the moment, this is empty. We have no event. We will click create new event. And then you'll see our main event editor. We can select a name, one minute repeating. We will make this repeatable, it is active, we will show it in the log, and it will happen 100% of the time. You need at least one trigger. If you have multiple triggers, any one of the triggers being activated will move it to the next step. We can click Add Trigger, and there we go. Every minute, this trigger will fire. A condition is not necessary. We're not going to put one here. Most of the time, you probably will not have one. Lastly, we have an action. This is also mandatory. Every minute, a message is going to pop up. You can click OK, and you are done. There it is. You've created a uh, one-minute repeating message. So if we crank our time compression up, we hit play. In one minute, we will get a message that pops up that says one minute has passed. It says one minute. We hit close and resume. It will pop up again. And that's it. If we go back to the event editor, we'll see that it's still active and it's still repeatable. If this was not repeatable, we'll run it for one more minute. It'll pop up. It says one minute has passed. If you go back to the event editor, you'll see it is no longer active because it's not repeatable. And if we open our message log up, you will see that our event has fired. From this point on, you can let time run as long as you want and the, the event will not fire again. 
Now next we'll dig into the meat of the triggers, the conditions, and the actions. So check out the next videos. Thanks for watching.